Ladies and gentlemen, inductee Coach Phil Isom. Phil Isom was born in Gunnersville on December 16, 1955 to QVJ and Faye Isom. He attended Grassy Junior High School where he was on the school's first football team and also played basketball coached by Ray Johnson. Phil is the first person on the left in the first row. Phil went on to Arab High School where he played basketball for the Knights. He was also Arab's quarterback under Alabama High School Sports Hall of Fame coach Buster Gross and Marshall County Sports Hall of Fame coach Bill Morgan for two years. In his senior year, the 1973 Knights were 7-3 with Isom calling the signals for Coach Wayne Trimble's first team at Arab. Seniors that year included number 12 Phil Isom, top row, fourth from the right, and Hall of Fame board member Roger Isom, number 50, bottom row, second from the right. Following graduation in 1974, Phil attended St. Bernard College in Cullman and graduated from Jacksonville State University with a B.S. in 1977 and a Master's in 1980. During his time at St. Bernard, Phil volunteered to help coach his former teams at Grassy for two years and Arab High School for one year. Following his college graduation in 1977, Coach Phil Isom was selected by Principal Ray Johnson to coach football and basketball at Grassy and was hired by the Marshall County Board of Education on the same night that Marshall County Sports Hall of Fame inductee Julia Casey was hired as the first female basketball coach in Marshall County. Phil coached at Grassy for three years and developed many outstanding football and basketball players who would go on to play at Arab High School. His first Raider basketball team in 1978 went all the way to the finals of the county tournament before losing to the Gunnersville Wildcats. Shown here is one of his grassy football teams. Hall of Fame board member Scott Tidmore is number 11 on the top row. Following the 1978 season, Phil married Andrea Honey and continued his coaching career. In 1980, Coach Isom began a 30-year career of coaching the Wildcats and teaching driver education. During this tenure in Gunnersville, Phil was the head varsity girls basketball coach. He is shown here with head basketball coach Larry Windsor and JV coach Mike Pope. He was also an assistant football coach under coach Bucky Pitts. Phil is top right in this photo with coach Steve Baker on the left and coach Pitts kneeling in the front. Phil Lazenby, kneeling, was the head coach after Pitts. Assistant coaches are left to right Jesse Swords, Keith Swisher, Hall of Fame board member Cheryl Dollar, Phil, Lance Reese, and Wesley Brock. He also coached the golf, track and field, and softball team, served for three years as the school's athletics director, and was active in the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Coach Isom's greatest successes as a coach came after he was named as the Wildcats head football coach in 1999. That year, he was also named as the Gunnersville Chamber of Commerce Educator of the Year. Phil coached the Cats for 11 years and had an overall record of 90 wins against only 38 losses. With Isom on the sidelines, the Gunnersville Wildcats made it to the state football playoffs in 10 of his 11 years. He was named Marshall County Football Coach of the Year six times, 1999, 2000, 2001, 2005, 2006, and 2009. In 2006, the Cats went 14-1 in quest of a state championship. The coaches that year were left to right Kenny Chafin, Richard Smith, Zach Wallace, Jeff Gibbs, Coach Isom, Lance Reese, Jesse Swords, and Randall Taylor. In the playoffs that year, Gunnersville defeated Ardmore, Brooks, and East Limestone in the first three rounds before facing a rematch with perennial powerhouse Alexandria, the only team to defeat the Cats in regular season. In a hard-fought semifinal game, Gunnersville defeated the Valley Cubs for the opportunity to play Thomasville in the championship game at Birmingham's Legion Field. 
with the Wildcats trailing 27-21 with 7.27 left in the game against Thomasville. Quarterback Chaz Rogers engineered the championship clinching drive, marching his team 80 yards in just five plays. Josh Gunther found a hole on the right side of the line and crashed into the end zone on first and goal from the two yard line with 5.50 remaining. Joel Svensson nailed the crucial extra point, giving GHS a 28-27 advantage. With 1-11 remaining, Thomasville took over on Gunnersville's 40 following a punt, but Wildcat sophomore Tucker Bridges intercepted a pass near the 10-yard line. Chaz Rogers knelt on the ball to give the Wildcats the 4A State Football Championship, the only state football championship in the 100-year storied history of Marshall County football. Sand Mountain Reporter Sports Editor Shannon J. Allen, president of the Marshall County Sports Hall of Fame, interviewed a proud and emotional Coach Isom immediately following the game. Coach Isom and his staff are shown with their state championship football trophy at the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame in Birmingham. Coach Isom was selected as the Alabama 4A Football Coach of the Year following that game and was also selected to be one of the coaches in the 2007 Alabama versus Mississippi All-Star Game. In 2007, the playing field at Chorbalee Stadium in Gunnersville was named Phil Isom Field in honor of this championship coach. Isom's name will forever be linked with legendary Marshall County Sports Hall of Fame charter class inductees, Coach Joe Chorba and Coach Percy Lee. Coach Phil Isom is shown here leading his 2009 team onto the field against county rival Albertville for the last time. Albertville and Gunnersville started playing football against each other in 1907 and is the longest continuous series in the history of Alabama high school football. He retired from coaching after the playoffs in 2009. His coaching career has positively influenced countless numbers of students and athletes in Marshall County. Phil and Andrea reside in Gunnersville with their four children, Anna Beth, Jake, and Dee Isom, and Elisa and Lee Brazelton. Ladies and gentlemen, 2010 inductee, Phil Isom.